Hello team, good morning. So I am fresh faced today. I have a very large spot in the middle of my head, which is not great timing. But as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going on a solo adventure today. I just thought like vlogging the experience. So if any of you guys are gonna do something similar in the near future, then hopefully it can put you at ease. Slash, I like talking to my camera. It feels like I've got a pal with me. I know how sad that probably sounds, but I enjoy having a camera to talk to so this is my way of kind of documenting this trip it's going to be amazing I'm going to Budapest for a work job that is all I'm allowed to tell you I'm afraid but I've got a car taking me to Heathrow Airport and then I'm flying to Budapest on a British Airways flight and then staying in a hotel and go into a work event. I am very, very nervous. I think I've got everything ready. So I thought I'd do a little rundown. So I'm only taking hand luggage because I'm literally away for two nights. So what I've done is I've got this backpack, which apparently on the BA website, you're allowed to take a handbag and a case for hand luggage. So what I've done is put all my electrical stuff in this bag along with like my passport and the documents that I'll need for the work stuff. And then in this bag is my clothes. It did say that sometimes this case can get put in the like hold. So in here I've just got my makeup. This bag I got from Amazon. I will let you know if they let me through security because as of right now I'm not sure but it's got all my liquids in it. And in this bag I've put a bunch of like either just my regular foundation and stuff or these mini bottles and these are like mini minis. These are so small. They're from Primark and they came in a big set. One of them's a little pump one and then also a little pots like this and these kind of pots. So I've like decanted all my stuff. I've got everything I can think of. And then I have a bunch of packing cubes. Packing cubes are like a relatively new thing for me, but I absolutely love them. So in each cube is a different thing. That's literally all my clothes in this one which is quite small actually. I've got all my clothes and my pyjamas in there and then shoes and I actually brought some gym stuff and then this little tiny one has got underwear in. Some of my pecking cubes are from Ikea and some are from Amazon. I'll link them in the description for you. That's pretty much it. It feels very strange to be packing so light for a trip abroad because as I'm sure a lot of you guys experience, the only reason I've ever gone abroad is to go on holiday. I've never actually done like a business trip, which feels very, very suave and fancy. And of course, the person I'm going to work with have paid for everything, so that's amazing. So I guess this counts as hashtag gifted. <laughs> I'm feeling very, very lucky. I think all the hotels and all the things I'm going to experience are going to be very fancy. So that's another reason I want to document it because when is this going to happen again? I have my water bottle which I am going to put in here but when I go through security I've got to make sure this is empty. Last time I went through security I was actually going to Budapest. Funnily enough the only other time I've been abroad this year was to Budapest and I happen to be going there again because it means I know where I am. Like I, I'm familiar with the surroundings, so that makes me less anxious about the whole thing. And also I won't feel guilty for not having a chance to like explore because I already have. So yeah, I'll get to show you some of the Budapest sites whilst I'm there. A three hour drive down to London is gonna make sure I drink that I reckon. I'm gonna go downstairs, eat some breakfast. I think I'm gonna do my makeup in the car. I'm gonna see if the driver minds me putting this on the back seat with me because obviously my makeup's in there. That's it, that's our trip. I feel like this is gonna be a long vlog because I'm gonna be babbling because I'm nervous and I don't know. <laughs> outside Heathrow Airport. That was a very smooth and comfortable and impressive car journey. Obviously wasn't going to vlog because I am awkward. I love how I won't vlog in a car with one person yet I'm stood out here and there's loads of people looking at me. My flight goes out of Terminal 3 and it's actually so warm. I don't even think I'm going to need this jacket but I thought with the aircon on the plane I picked up a jacket. I have my tiny little case here and my backpack. I pretty much drank all my water in my water bottle and I really need a wee and I I think I'm three hours early, so pretty good. We made good time. We left at like 10 to nine and it's now 10 to 12, so did did good. I do feel a bit car sick though. <laughs> I actually have my tickets for check-in on my phone. I thought that was the less stressful way of doing it because I'm always really, really scared of losing my ticket. So even on trains and stuff, I like to have my tickets on my phone when I can. So top tip there. The only thing I need to remember to get in and out of my bag now when I go through security is my passport and my electric things. So 
like, right, let's go. Oh my God, security is always so stressful. That bag that I showed you this morning was too big, FYI. But I'm just walking through duty free. I wanna kinda have a look at the makeup stuff. But I don't really see that much. I might have a brows. I've come into Ted Baker and just pretending I can afford all these things. Why not? Like that case, casual £100, as you do. Ooh, 60% off. That's my rail. Turns out they have a Harrods shop in the airport. Look at how cute these teddy bears are. And there's little baby versions. Oh my god, I'm such a teddy bear like fanatic. Shortbread, honestly. This is the nicest airport I've ever been in. Way to make me feel like comfortable. I'm literally not even stressed anymore. Found the posh bit, Louis Vuitton. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Gucci, Tiffany, Cartier. I've stopped for lunch. I've decided to come to a place called The Curator. They've got like prep and um, eat and stuff. But I don't really want the sandwich and I thought today's the day of new things. So why not try and eat in a restaurant by myself? And I feel like the airport is the easiest place to do that actually. So I've never done this before. I've never actually eaten in a restaurant alone. I think I'm gonna go with the chicken curry. Looks really nice. Everything else, I literally did a whole lap of the terminal and everything else didn't appeal to me. So figured why not, I'm gonna treat myself. I mean, it's 13 pounds, it's a normal price. But yeah, just living my life, walking around alone. It's very strange. Set an alarm for when the gate apparently goes up, but I'll keep an eye on it on my, on my app because British Airways announce it on their app, so it should be good. Oh my God, this looks and smells incredible. Just inhaled that dinner. I've had to upload something like really last minute for work. It's a 3.5 gigabyte presentation. And at home, it takes two and a half hours for it to upload. So I thought there's gonna be no chance on public Wi-Fi. Turns out, eight minutes left and I literally dragged this over two minutes ago, so very happy with that. I've sat at the, well, I'm still in like the departure line. I'm not near the gate. I'm near the screen and my flight is there so the gate shown at 13 15 55 not 15 and that presentation has just finished so i'm going to send that now to my manager so we can send it to the relevant person and i'm going to go nip to the toilet because one thing i do not want to overcome today is going to the toilet on an airplane i've not done that for years and i don't like it so i'm going to go to the toilet here so i guess the next time i'll speak to you is when i'm headed onto the airplane. I actually can't believe I'm doing this. I'm surprisingly chill at the minute. I think the most scary part was going through security and I know I'll be a bit nervous when it comes to actually taking off because I never liked that anyway. But yeah, it's been quite nice being in my own little bubble. No one really cares. I didn't think they would, but you know, it's been good.
this hotel. You guys are not ready for how nice this hotel is. The first strange thing has happened in the trip. I've been just abandoned in the uh, the car, the taxi thing that's taken me from Budapest Airport to the hotel. The lighting in here is not going to get any cuter. Firstly, when I got to the arrival gate, I was told that there was going to be someone with like my name on a sign. You know, typical. His radio is going off, but it's not speaking English, so. And there wasn't anyone with my sign, so I was like, uh, what do I do? So I rang the two contact numbers I've been given both of which don't work so I was like yep good so then I ended up having to speak to the tourist help desk man and he was as about as useful as a chocolate teapot he was so unhelpful like it was supposed to be an information point he was not helpful but I got the number for the hotel oh my god it's so warm in here there's no air con on he's turned the engine off so now the driver is trying to get out of the airport he said that he was trying to park uh, close but it wouldn't let him I think he's never driven to the airport before so basically he went to the wrong bit hence why he couldn't find me and now trying to get out of the car park I think he's trying to get cash or I think he was supposed to pay for his ticket before we got to the machine so now I'm just abandoned in the car desperate for a wee this is the first dilemma of the trip to be honest it's not that bad I'd take this over any other kind of dilemma I landed safe the flight was great I, I fell asleep for about half an hour the driver is strolling back can you see him he's there just having a nice stroll take your time mate just melting oh god right i'm feeling a lot less stressed though now my heart rate went back down to like normal normal amounts and i'm excited to get into the hotel see my room we'll do a little room tour apparently there's a bath in there so i think i'm gonna get a bath tonight and then at some point i do want to like go out onto the river and kind of sit on the front and just sit and chill because i want to make the most of the views whilst i've got them i'm in the hotel Look at this. <laughs> Room 620 and apparently I have a corner suite and I have access to the executive something upstairs. I mean, well fancy. I thought I'd vlog and get my reaction coming into the room. They've also got a bellboy, literally as soon as I walked in the door, the bellboy took my bag. Are we ready? Oh, oh my God, I've got a sofa. <gasps> the view oh my god look at the view i'm literally looking on the river oh my god i really need a wee but i also really need to be excited <gasps> oh my god look oh my god okay be right back just gonna go pee look at this room <gasps> oh my god i am literally living like a VIP. What? Oh, hello. Oh, he's here with my luggage. Good evening. Hello. I'm here with the baggage. Thank you very much. I am fucking shook. Oh my god. Literally living the dream. I am going to have to get some photos in this window. Like, Oh my god, wait until I like FaceTime my boyfriend and my parents. Are you kidding me? I can't not swear. I'm sorry, I just can't. I was trying to hold it in, but I can't. Right, I'm going to give you a quick room tour and then I'm going to FaceTime my parents. I'm stood with my back to the door. This is what you see when you first walk in, so it's a little lounge area. Oh, I've got an office desk with a phone. And then the mini bar apparently is in here. Oh wait, TV, mini bar. Hello, oh Mars bars, oh my god there's wine, not that I like wine but I'm sure I can uh, try it, <laughs> Jack Daniels, and then tea, coffee, and the espresso machine, the world's most amazing view, I am never going to stay in a hotel like this ever again I don't think, <laughs> what the hell, and then down here is my room, well the rest of my room should I say, so the guy just brought my case in for me, then on the left is the bathroom, so Mirror, I haven't put my electricity in the car, in the thing yet, but... I didn't catch that. Shush, Siri, I'm excited. Bath, shower over bath, shower, toilet. This is like, insane, oh my God. Mirror, can I stay here for a week? I could literally live here. A huge TV, again, 
the most amazing view you ever saw. Look at the bed. <laughs> oh my god. And then another desk, just in case you want to do some work whilst looking, looking at the view. It's more fascinating that I've actually already been to Budapest, so I understand roughly where everything is. But this is incredible. I'd be so upset if I came here and I'd not already seen it. Look, that's the cliff lift me and my boyfriend got on. I don't know if you can see that because of the sun. Oh, I am in heaven. Feeling like a very, very lucky girl. I'm gonna FaceTime my parents now. So I'll see, see you in a minute. Oh my God. All right, I have fully basked in the ambience of the uh, view. It's so nice, honestly. The sun is setting and it's beautiful. Oh, I kind of want to time lapse it, but I think I'm going to walk down to the river and sit on the river and watch the sunset from there because I feel like, why not? You know, so I'm going to go back downstairs. Literally haven't picked up anything other than my key and my phone. I feel like that's okay. Do I need my passport? Perhaps not. It's okay. We'll be fine. I'm going to go downstairs. All right. There's a plane in the, in the, uh, what is this? Atrium thing? Casual. I want to know what they mean about an executive room I've got like access to because of the room that I've been booked. Honestly, living a crazy, crazy dream. There's a spa, there's a swimming pool. I am never gonna live like this ever again. I mean, if I do, I have made it in life. Like the restaurant, the lobby, there's like a library. We're out, I'm just gonna be brave and vlog it because it's not every day you get flown to Budapest for a night. I don't think I've come the best way to get to the front. I mean, I've already had an amazing view of the sunset from my room. I've not yet FaceTimed my parents. I FaceTimed my boyfriend, but I didn't want to miss sitting out here. I can't believe I'm in a different country. Isn't it mad how fast you can just be in a different country? That's my hotel up there, by the way. I kind of half caught the sunset then. I got way too carried away taking some photos in my hotel room, which I'm sure you will have seen. Bye now. But I'm gonna go back up to the room because actually the view from the room is better than sitting on the river but I couldn't not sit on the river and I actually need to practice the presentation I've got to do tomorrow. I've had to make a half an hour presentation. I think it's at like one tomorrow. So I do have some time to practice it tomorrow but I feel like I need to go over it tonight, speak it out loud. I've not actually verbal vocalised it. I was gonna say verbalised it, that's not the right word. But yeah, I'm gonna walk back to my room, FaceTime my parents. I'm gonna see what that lounge thing looks like oh i don't know which order to do everything there's so much to see there's so much to do i wish i had more time here i actually love this city even more in the summer it was beautiful in the winter but everyone's just having such a good time show you the inside of the hotel <laughs> that's one of the restaurants I'm guessing the other one's up there look at it it's massive I don't know where I'm allowed to go and where I'm not oh there's a ladies wine store very fancy right I'm gonna go up into that it's a hotel members suite thing Okay, nope, don't like that room. I went upstairs, filmed the view, immediately exited. It's a very small room with lots of very scary looking businessmen in it. Hope you're not scared of heights. I think I'm gonna order room service and then I'm gonna sit here and just look out whilst I'm eating my room service. Oh, I don't know where to sit. There's so many good views. Like, do I sit here with this view? Imagine having this view, like 24 hours. For one, it's a great people watching spot and two, look at it <laughs> or do i sit in here and have this view honestly i'll get some steps in just walking back and forth in this room i'm sat on the bed can confirm very comfortable wouldn't expect any less look at how shiny i am now i've just found a sleep menu never heard such a thing it seems there's a pillow menu <laughs> a room mist indulgent bath i want a bath what do you do? How do you get this to happen, please? What is this? Is this how the other half live? <laughs> I do kind of want a bubble bath though, but annoyingly, I don't really have time. And although that bath does look lovely, I was 100% gonna get in it if it was one of those like freestanding baths, but obviously. 
me. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Holy sh balls. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Here is my selection. I am very happy with this. This looks incredible. So I have rump steak, pork, paprika pork effectively, chocolate cake, chips and bread and a strawberry lemonade. My first experience of room service <laughs> is a great one. Up, look down, look all around. Up in the air and on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see. So come out side. Don't know why that got in my head. Place this fancy. You think it'd have those lights that, where you clap and they go on and off. Oh my god, imagine if that actually happened. No, I tried. It is now about quarter to 11, I think, which means it's quarter to 10 in England. I'm not going to get to sleep for any time soon because I am stressed about tomorrow. I've just talked through my presentation with my boyfriend on FaceTime. He said it sounded all right. And yeah, I think I probably should have like practiced it a little bit more, but I know I won't end up saying it how I practiced it because that's just never how it goes. So yeah, I am going to practice it as much as I can. I'm gonna write a few notes and then hopefully in the morning I'll feel prepared. I like had a moment of like lull and calm whilst I was sat on the river and like eating my dinner and then all of a sudden when I sat down at my desk to do work I was like oh my god I've just remembered why I'm here but yeah I'm sure it'll be good and it's really weird to think that this time tomorrow I will be back in England. I fly home at 7. I will have literally been in Budapest 25 hours because I landed at like half six. So yeah, 25 hours in Budapest. I guess that can be the vlog title. <laughs> right, I am gonna end the vlog for tonight. I'll see you in the morning. I will update you on the room. Ow, oh, I've got an itchy eyeball. This is gonna be the most like disheveled vlog ever because I just, my brain's all over the place and I'm stressed. Good night. <laughs>good morning so it is eight o'clock bang on and i am on time i woke up early to make sure i had time to get ready without too much of a fluss fluster i was gonna say flop and fluster and then my brain stopped working good perfect day for my brain to not work i'm not sure if i mentioned in the vlog i definitely instagrammed it if you haven't seen my instagram highlights from this trip by the way go and have a look at them because they're actually quite funny i was looking at them last night i appreciate it there was a big party or something going on last night i'm not really sure why or what it was or where it was i couldn't find it i like poked my head downstairs a little bit but i couldn't see it i could definitely hear it they were playing like mambo number no. five the cha-cha slide, like loads of bangers. So everyone was fully screaming, singing it. And I could just hear the bass. I could literally hear word for word every song. And then the DJ shouting on the microphone like, Way, woo, woo, woo. so that was good. That went on till 2 a.m. this morning. And I had my alarm set for half six. So not got much sleep, but hopefully that means I get to sleep on the flight tonight. I'm just hoping I'm like functioning enough to do this um, speech well. I spent a lot of time writing notes uh, and going through it last night. I mean, I can't really do much more than I have at this point. I've just kind of got to accept it. I think I'm gonna have a little out loud read through it whilst I kind of, I'm almost ready. I've kind of half packed everything up. My makeup is here, my laptop, I've been watching YouTube videos. I've just been sat here looking at that lovely day. I'm not actually sure what temperature is, I haven't haven't checked. I was sat watching that this morning, people watching, watch someone nearly fall over and face plant. That was quite entertaining. I'm such a mean person. But yeah, I have like a hench pile of pages. Fingers crossed, but the plan is I am meeting someone in the lobby at half past eight. It's currently three minutes past and we're gonna have breakfast and kind of go over the presentation, go over what's going on. And then I think we've got a bit of free time by we i mean me it's just me here because i don't actually have to meet her again until 12. quick little outfit of the day so i have worn this exact outfit before i actually wore it at vidcon but clearly i'm unoriginal and i can't think of anything else that looks slightly businessy so 
we've gone with this. The top is from Boohoo, skirt is ASOS, the belt is old from Primark and the shoes are also really old from Primark but I will link similars down below. Similars? Similar ones? Oh my god. It's not a good day to be messing up my words is it? But yeah I quite like this. I feel like nice but also professional and I also can travel home in this. Right let's practice. I'm delaying. We got to practice. At least I've got a good spot to practice. Oh my god stressed is an understatement like obviously like the environment is scary. There's a load of business people which is scary and my presentation does not want to work on their computers. Stress levels are high. I wonder what my heart rate is at. I'm just stressed like this is not anxious this is stress. I've got like two hours to chill and I don't really know what to do like part of me wants to go for a walk maybe I'll go and sit downstairs for a little bit just like sit where I was sat yesterday and take it in and have a deep breath you know what that is what I need and relax well I love that I've literally just filmed a really long clip on my phone telling you how I'm walking over the bridge I didn't press record but I've just walked across the bridge that I was just sat next to so now I'm on the other side of the river I'm doing a big loop like my hotel is like over there it's there so I'm doing a big old loop actually I'm not gonna lie it's a bit warm now <laughs> maybe I'll walk slower I don't want to get sweaty before I do the presentation get my steps into the day I'm gonna spend a lot of my time sat on a plane or sat in an airport today so why not it's beautiful I'm back from my walk I freshened up and I've packed my case let's say goodbye to this amazing view one last time it's been incredible budapest i've not actually done my presentation yet but checkout is at 12 and the presentation is at 2 so i'm gonna go downstairs store my bags downstairs somewhere i guess and then go and do the presentation and my taxi back to the airport is at four oh, i wasn't nervous until i started talking to the camera i need to take some deep breaths i've had a good time to chill i'm glad i wasn't trying to squeeze into in any work or anything because this is so out of my comfort zone we can do this i am a strong independent lady and i can do this Wish me luck. I've just finished my presentation, but I thought I'd show you the room. I did it in, this was the room. It was stood on that stage and I've done it, yay. I'm gonna go and do some work in the lobby. I'm now in the car on the way to the airport. We've got about 20 minutes left and I've been having a good old chat with the driver. Here he is. Hi. <laughs> the flight isn't until 10 past seven, so plenty of time I'm gonna get some food in the airport I need to scout out some some good food that taxi driver was so nice we literally spoke the whole 45 minute journey I'm now back in the airport got through security my bag came up for like an extra security check which I wasn't really surprised about I'm in the duty-free bit if you go into Budapest Airport there's like a huge circular part which is like the main bit if you turn right and like walk down to gates A4 and A5 it says there is more shops so I found a Victoria's Secret and a Disney shop I remembered that there was a Disney shop here I am gonna have a little bit of a browse around the shops I've got an hour before my gate is announced I feel like I should get this <laughs> he's so cute look at these so cute I actually love them this one's for you Becca <gasps> I feel like this if Hannah was to get anything Disney it would be this it's literally a sparkly Minnie Mouse keyring <laughs> so tacky my fave combo <gasps> look at that bag not sure why but there's a Harry Potter section and I found a Niffler mug food has been inhaled <laughs> salad was the best salad I've ever eaten. I do smell like onions now though. I wonder if I can find some chewing gum somewhere. <laughs> I'm sat at the gate. Our plane is there. I'm guessing that's ours. What time is it? Well we fly in an hour so I guess they'll be letting us on in half an hour. I am a million percent more chilled on the way home. I am so more, more, more relaxed this time around. I think once you've done it once it's better. I'm just ready to get home and there's another hotel when we arrive. In 
the hotel near Heathrow Airport. I'm here to, for tonight and then a car's picking me up in the morning. I'm so tired. The past two nights of no sleep have caught up with me. But yeah, it's been such a good trip. That journey home was so stress-free. It's unbelievable. Like, I think after doing, like, solo flying once, my body, like, my body and my brain just kind of understood it and realised it wasn't that much stress. Like, I'm so used to getting on the train to London. That's effectively what it is. It just happens to go in the air. The most stressful bit, I think, is going through security. And then the next most stressful bit for me is walking through the gate. I always feel like I'm going to miss it when it opens. But other than that, it was honestly fine. On the way home, I actually had someone sat next to me. There was three of us in a row. And <laughs> initially, there wasn't anyone in the middle and the guy on the end was like trying to make conversation with me and I was just having none of it. I was so tired. And he said, oh, I bet you can't wait for me to fall asleep. So I stopped talking. I was like, <laughs> yeah. But then this boy came and sat in between us. Turns out they were like interested in the same thing. So they found a new pal. Meanwhile, I plugged myself into my laptop and started editing this vlog. I have since realized how much I spoke. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you have any questions about travelling. I don't know, obviously I've only done it once and it was a super short haul trip. But yeah, I feel a lot more confident and I was so much more chill on the way home today. I am going to take my makeup off, have a shower, get into bed and collapse. And I can confirm there is no party going on outside and it's actually really quiet. Very happy about that.